one. Good evening. It is uh, Wednesday, January 4th, 2023. Welcome to the Town of Carmel Town Board. This is our organizational meeting. Uh, first, I want to say uh, Happy New Year to everyone. And I'm calling this meeting to order, and I ask that our town clerk, Ann Spofford, do a roll call. Councilman Baranowski. Here. Councilman Lombardi. Here. Councilwoman McDonough. Here. Councilman Channel. Here. Supervisor Kazari. Here. Uh, if everyone would please rise, uh, Councilman uh, Lombardi is going to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Just as, as always, that we remain standing for uh, those who serve in our military and police around um, our community, but especially tonight, I'm asking for prayers for a neighboring town uh, who lost, suddenly lost uh, Yorktown. Lieutenant Ken Scroy passed away uh, suddenly yesterday, yesterday, 38 years old. Uh, we had a chance to uh, communicate with uh, Chief Noble and to express the condolences on behalf of the town of Carmel and the residents here. So just keep uh, him and his family in our thoughts and prayers. Thanks. Thank you. So. We have uh, two announcements. I want to do uh, one of them twice. I want to do it now in the beginning because it's very important and uh, then at the end, just in case someone isn't watching. Uh, from the tax receiver, Kathleen Krause, uh, she wants to uh, tell everyone in town that the 2023 <clears throat> town and county tax bills were mailed out last Thursday, December 29th. They are due without penalty by January 31st. If you have not received your tax bill, you can access it online at the Town of Carmel website. From this site, you can view, print, and pay your bill. You can also call the Receiver of Taxes office or stop by Town Hall and pick up a copy from them. Please remember that it is the property owner's responsibility to obtain a copy of their own tax bill. Persuading to New York State Real Property Tax Law Section 922, the failure of the property owner to receive a tax bill does not in any way affect the validity of the taxes or prevent the accruing of any penalty or interest for non-payment. Right, so that's very important. Your tax bill should have come in the mail. Um, and if you didn't, you can stop by here or go online. Uh, public comments? Did you want to, oh. want to make that? Oh, yes, that's true, too. One second. I forgot. Sorry. We can get up, though. So uh, we're uh, doing our reorganization. As far as the Lake Mahopac Park District, those uh, appointments to that committee, that advisory committee, those all expired December 31st, 2022. At this time, the town board is not refilling those positions. Uh, we will be uh, thinking and, and working on that, but at this time, we're not refilling that one park district. Five minutes. Hi, everybody. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Thanks for being here. Uh, so it was a good uh, Christmas break there. I got some time to review, look at stuff, and think about what's going on. And again, I want to thank everybody for the work that you're putting into taking care of our town. Uh, I do not and would not want to sit there and have to go through of all that. With that being said, while we're talking about the Lake Mahopac Park District Association, how will the people know, I saw on the website there, that if they want to run for the board, they should send a formal letter into the town hall, is what they should do? And will there be notifications? Email. You could send e an email. email. So and good. will we get notified on what positions are available and who's coming? Or how will that happen? You guys appoint them. Does the general public have any input or just you guys do that? I know it's not like a vote, but you, or I guess you guys would vote on it. How does, how does that work exactly? Like how will we know who the next chair, who will be on the board? Uh, how we just find out when you guys find out? Or how, how do we know who's uh, running for it, I guess, is what the question is. All, all of the advisory committees are appointed by the town board. And yep. there will be a resolution okay. at a town board meeting mm -hmm. 
That's how so that's you guys done. will contact whoever I put in an application to try to be on the board. No idea what will happen. I'm just saying you'll call and reach out to people to see who, who wants to go and stuff. Okay. That, thank you very much. I just wasn't clear on that. Also, I was also reading some of the rules and regulations that are going into the zoning stuff. I would ask the town board to make sure you pay attention that some of the writing in there about our docs makes the docs uh, non-ADA compliant. And I know that's becoming more of an issue as time and time goes on, so don't put ourselves in a position, and it may be something in it that could be changed, but I did notice that in there when I was looking at rules and regulations on docs. It's something just to keep in mind of that we wouldn't, uh, I guess, potentially end up with another problem later on uh, down the road with it. Yeah, ADA compliant, I noticed that it, was, it didn't fit in the thing with it. I noticed that some of the references that I got on the other lakes uh, that they based some of the information off of, they didn't actually use those models because of that. Uh, so I think there might be just a little cross in information, whatever, whoever got that information or wherever they thought they were using it from, it didn't match exactly, that's all. Also like to thank you for contacting me about lowering of the lake and talking with Kenny and I about it. It was a great way to go ahead and to come to a conclusion on it and to see what was happening with it. I think it's important that uh, you have local lake people involved in what's going on with that. It affects everybody greatly and if someone's not on top of it, which I'm not saying someone hasn't been in the past, but if someone's not on top of it, it can create real, real severe damage. And like we just talked about earlier, made a big difference seeing it in. Will you have new liaisons or are you going to appoint liaisons for the town board to the Lake Mahopac Park District or are you, are you still deciding what you're doing with that? Still deciding. Still deciding. Okay. So I think that's really it. I just had those couple of quick questions on what was going on. I noticed that ADA compliance thing. I wanted to thank everybody and I'll look to see what's going on and watch the schedule for what's happening and we'll see what's coming up next. All right. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. And keep, a, keep an eye on the level. I told Kenny today, keep an eye on when it's, he was thinking sooner than, than usual. So just to let. With all this rain and everything else, yeah, I, I could see that, but we'll keep an eye on what's going on. Yeah, let, let me know if I'm, because you're there, I'm not. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Got it. Thank you. All right, so starting with our 29 resolutions. Uh, <coughs> number one is establishing dates, time, and location of town board meetings. Councilman Lombardi, would you read that one? Resolve that all regular voting meetings of the town board of the town of Carmel shall be held on the first and third Wednesdays of every month, commencing Wednesday, January 18, 2023, at the town hall, 60 McAlpin Avenue, Mayapack, New York, at 7 p.m., except for the month of December, where there will be a voting meeting held on the second Wednesday. All voting meetings shall be held at Carmel Town Hall, 60 McAlpin Avenue, <clears throat> May Impact New York uh, at 7 p.m. with the exception of Wednesday, March 1st, 2023, which shall be held at Carmel Firehouse, Vink Drive, Carmel, New York at 7 p.m. <clears throat> be it further resolved that all work sessions of the Town Board of the Town of Carmel shall be held on the second and third Wednesdays of each month, commencing <clears throat> Wednesday, January 11, 2023, and all work sessions scheduled for third Wednesday shall commence immediately following the regular voting meeting except for the month of December where the work session will be held on the first Wednesday immediately following the voting meeting. All work sessions shall be held at Town Hall 60 McAlpin Avenue, Mayor Park, New York at 7 p.m. with the exception of Wednesday, October 11th, 2023, which shall be held in the Hamlet of Carmel at the Carmel Firehouse, Vink Drive, Carmel, New York at 7 p.m. I offer this resolution as read. Second. Seconded by Councilwoman McDonough. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, resolution number one passed. Number two is appointing police commissioners. Councilman Channel, could you read that one? Resolved that the town board of the town of Carmel hereby appoints all members of the town board to serve as the board of police commissioners. I offer this resolution as read. Second. Seconded by Lombardi. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, resolution number two passed. Our third resolution is uh, designating official newspapers for the town of Carmel. Resolved that the town board of the town of Carmel designates the Putnam County Press and the Mahopac News as the official newspapers of the town of Carmel for the year 2023 at the unit rates referenced in the proposal filed in the office of town clerk and be it further resolved that in those situations where the town is required 
by law to publish a daily, in a daily newspaper, the journal news is hereby designated as a daily newspaper in which publication shall be made. I offer this resolution as read. Second. Seconded by Councilman Lombardi. Would you have a roll call on that? No. It's not, a, finan it's not a financial. Do we have to? Yeah. No. She said all in favor. Oh, all, all in favor? <clears throat> Aye. 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 Uh, number four is uh, designating official depositories. Councilwoman McDonough, could you? So it resolved that the town board of the town of Carmel hereby designates any commercial bank authorized to do business in the state of New York as an official depository for the town of Carmel funds and investments provided all deposits are properly collateralized in accordance with New York state law and hereby authorizes the town supervisor to deposit funds in any authorized depository for fiscal year 2023 in order to obtain the maximum rate of interest on said deposits. I offer this resolution as read. Seconded. Seconded by Councilman Baranowski. All those in favor? Uh, aye. 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 Uh, number four passed. Uh, our fifth resolution is designated insurance uh, agent. Councilman Baranowski, could you read that? Certainly. Resolved that the town board of the town of Carmel hereby appoints Brown Brown of New York, Inc., 625 Route 6, Mahopac, New York, as insurance agents and brokers of record for the town of Carmel for the year 2023. I offer this resolution as read. Second. Seconded by Councilwoman McDonough. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Number five passed. Uh, resolution number six is resolution authorizing petty cash funds for fiscal year 2023. Uh, Councilman Lombardi, could you read that? Resolve the Town Board of Town of Carmel hereby authorizes the establishment of ca uh, petty cash funds in the following departments at the following amounts for fiscal year 2023. Supervisor 200, receiver of tax and 500, Justice Corps 200, Recreation 200, Town Clerk 200, Police Chief 200, Building Maintenance 100, Superintendent of Highways 300. The office resolution is read. Second. Seconded by channel. Um, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, number six passed. Uh, our seventh resolution is resolution setting mileage rate for fiscal year 2023. Councilman Shallow, could you? Resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Carmel hereby establishes the mileage reimbursement rate for 2023 at the IRS rate for 2023. I vote for this resolution as read. Seconded. Uh, seconded by Councilman Baranowski. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Number seven passed. Uh, resolution number Eight is a resolution setting rates for 2023 Highway Department temporary help. Resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Carmel hereby sets the following rates for Highway Department temporary help for fiscal year 2023. Uh, private plowers, minimum of a 2500 series truck, one ton truck with plow, $60 an hour. Drivers, labor only in town trucks, $300 an hour. I offer this resolution. $30 an hour. $30 an hour. I would say I'll apply. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> $30. I offer this corrected resolution as read. Second. Seconded by Councilwoman McDonough. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, number eight passed. Uh, resolution number nine, the resolution designated council members as a liaison to special committees. Councilwoman McDonough, could you? Sure. Be it resolved that the town board of the town of Carmel hereby designates the following town council members as liaisons for the following purposes. Councilman Stephen Baranowski. Liaison to CSEA and Veterans, Special Legal Counsel, other governmental agencies including county, state, and school districts, and libraries, park di Lake Park districts, Cassie, Secor, T. Kettle, Spout, and Mohopak. Councilwoman Suzanne McDonough, Liaison CSEA and Veterans, Planning Board, Recreation, Cable TV Advisory Board, other governmental agencies, including county, state, and school districts, liaison to the Hamlet of Carmel Civic Association and the local chambers of commerce. Councilman Robert Chanel, liaison to police department, highway department, recreation, and other government agencies, including county, state, and school districts, and libraries. All administrative boards to include planning, zoning, ECB, Ethics Board and Cable TV Advisory Boards, and all Lake Park districts, Cassie, Secor, T. Kettle Spout, and Mahopak. Councilman Frank Lombardi, liaison to Special Legal Counsel, Highway Department, Police Department, Administrative Boards to include Zoning, ECB, and Ethics Board, 
liaison to Hamlet of Carmel Civic Association and other government agencies, including county, state, and school districts, and the local chambers of commerce. I offer this resolution as read. Seconded. Seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Resolution 10, authorizing amendments and adopting Town of Carmel Employee Handbook. Councilman Bernowski. Resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Carmel hereby authorizes amendments and adoption of the Town of Carmel Employee Handbook in form as filed in the Office of the Town Supervisor. I offer this resolution as read. Second. Second by Councilwoman McDonough. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Number 10, uh, Number 11. Resolution appointing Chair Town of Carmel Planning Board. Councilman Lombardi. Resolve the Town Board of Town of Carmel hereby appoints Craig Papier as Chairman of the Town of Carmel Planning Board for the year 2023. I hope this resolution is right. Second. Second by Councilwoman McDonough. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Number 12, resolution appointing vice chairman, town of, Bor town of Carmel Planning Board, by Councilman Bernowski. Or they go out of order? You went out of order. Could they go <laughs> next? <laughs> next. <laughs> Resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Carmel hereby appoints Anthony Giannico as Vice President, Vice Chairman of the Town of Carmel Planning Board for the year 2023. You offer this resolution as read. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Oh, there you go. That's why. <clears throat> Number 13, uh, resolution making appointment to Town of Carmel Planning Board, uh, resolve that the Town Board of the Town of Carmel hereby reappoints Ray Cote, uh, the Town of Carmel Planning Board, as a term retroactive to January 1st, 2023, and expiring December 31st, 2029. I offer this resolution as read. Seconded. Seconded by McDonough and Baranowski. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, number 14, resolution appointing chairman, Town of Carmel Zoning Board of Appeals. Councilwoman McDonough. To please. resolve that the Town Board of the Town of Carmel hereby appoints John Maxwell as chairman of the Town of Carmel Zoning Board of Appeals for the year 2023. I offer this resolution as read. Second it. Second by Councilman Baranowski. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Number 14 passed. Uh, 15, a resolution appointing vice chairman, Town of Carmel Zoning Board of Appeals. Councilman Labardi, could you? Nope. Oh, Bernowski. Yep. <laughs> we forgot you already. See that? Resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Carmel hereby appoints Philip Agiletti as Vice Chairman of the Town of Carmel Zoning Board of Appeals for the year 2023. I offer this resolution as read. Second. Second. Second by Shannon and Lombardi. All those in favor? Aye. 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 16, resolution appointing Chairman Town of Carmel Environmental Conservation Board. Councilman Lombardi now. Resolved the Town Board of Town of Carmel hereby appoints Robert Laga as Chairman of the Town of Carmel Environmental Conservation Board for the year 2023. I hope this resolution is right. Second. Seconded by channel. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, number 16 passed. Number 17 is a resolution appointing Vice Chairman, Town of Carmel Environmental Conservation Board. Councilman Channel. Resolved that <clears throat> the Town Board of the Town of Carmel hereby appoints Nicholas Fannin as Vice Chairman of the Town of Carmel Environmental Conservation Board for the year 2023. I offer this resolution as read. Second. Seconded by Lombardi. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. 18 is a resolution setting salaries for fiscal year 2023 for certain officials of the town and for employees of the town not covered by a collective bargaining agreement. Resolved that the town board of the town of Carmel hereby sets the salaries for fiscal year 2023 for the following officials and employees of the town not covered under the terms of a collective bargaining agreement. Town Comptroller, Receiver of Taxes, Town Justices, Town Engineer, Director of Parks and Recreation, Town Assessor, Deputy Town Clerk, Deputy Highway Superintendent, Deputy Receiver of Taxes, Clerk to the Justices, Chief of Staff slash Assistant to the Town Board, at the amounts set forth in the 2023 budget as adopted. Roll call vote. 
please, Anne. I'm sorry, who seconded that? Oh, second. Second. I offer that as read, seconded by second. Councilwoman McDonough. Can we have a roll call? Councilman Baranowski. Yes. Councilman Lamarty. Yeah. Councilwoman McDonough. Yes. Councilman Channel. Yes. Supervisor Kazeri. 19 passed. I mean, 18 passed. 19 is a resolution appointing to the Town of Carmel Lake Cassie Park District Advisory Board. Uh, Councilman McDonough. To Could resolve you? that the Town Board of the Town of Carmel hereby appoints the following residents to the Town of Carmel Lake Cassie Park District Advisory Board for a term commencing retroactive to January 1st, 2023 and expiring December 31st, 2023. Teresa DePace, Aaron Hadlin, Stacy Ann Kelly, Kim Kugler, Scott Sturbins, and Joseph Zakon. I offer this resolution as read. Second. Seconded by Baranowski. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, 19 passed. 20 resolution appointing town attorney. Councilman Garnett. Resolved that the town board of the town of Carmel hereby appoints Gregory L. Falchetti, 1875 Route 6, second floor, Carmel, New York, as town attorney pursuant to New York town law, section 20 and section 24, and at the salary contained within the 2023 adopted budget. I offer this resolution as read. Second. Second. Seconded by McDonough and Lombardi. Can we have a roll call vote? Councilman Baranowski? Yes. Councilman Lombardi? Yes. Councilwoman McDonough? Yes. Councilman Channel? Yes. Supervisor Kazeri? Yes. Uh, resolution 20 passed. 21 is a resolution authorizing entry into contract for litigation council legal services. Councilman Lombardi, could you read that? Resolve, <coughs> excuse me. Resolve the town board of town of Carmel hereby authorizes entry into a contract with the law firm of Costello and Fulcetti LLP. 1875 Route 6, Carmel, New York, 10512, for legal services to be rendered in connection with litigation and defense matters involving the town of Carmel, its offices, employees, approval boards, etc., as well as for services rendered in connection with improvement, district, establishment, or formation, or expansion. And be it further resolved, Town Supervisor Michael Kazari is authorized and designated to execute said contract on behalf of the town of Carmel and form is attached hereto and made part hereof. I offer this resolution as read. Second. Second. Seconded by McDonough and Baranowski. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Roll call. Oh, roll call. Roll. Sorry. Roll call, please. Mm -hmm. Councilman Baranowski? Yes. Councilman Lombardi? Aye. Councilwoman McDonough? Yes. Councilman Shadow? Yes. Supervisor Kaziri? Yes. 21 passed. <clears throat> uh, resolution 22 is a resolution authorizing signing of a contract for special legal services for Planning Board, Environmental Conservation Board, Cable Advisory Board, and Ethics Board. Councilman Shallow, could you read that one? Resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Carmel hereby authorizes the entry into contract with Joseph A. Charbonneau, Esquire, Three Star Ridge Road, Brewster, New York, 10509, for legal services as special counsel to the Town of Carmel Planning Board, Environmental Conservation Board, Carmel Advisory Board, and Ethics Board. And be it further resolved that the Town Supervisor, Michael Kazari, is authorized and designated to execute said contract on behalf of the Town of Carmel in form as attached hereto and made a part hereof. I offer this resolution as read. Second. Second. Seconded by Lombardi and McDonough. A roll call vote. Councilman Baranowski? <clears throat> yes. Councilman Lombardi? Aye. Councilwoman McDonough? Yes. Councilman Shano? Yes. Supervisor Kazari? Yes. Uh, 22 passed. Number 23 is a resolution authorizing attendance of officers and employees to attend the Association of Towns Conference. Whereas the annual meeting and training school of the Association of Towns is to be held in New York, New York from February 19th through the 22nd, 2023. And whereas in the past, the information and training available at said meeting and the seminars conducted there have provided to be helpful, proved to be helpful to the town officers and employees in the performance of their duties. And it is in the best interest of the town of Carmel to have certain of its officers and employees attend such meetings and training schools. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the town board of the town of Carmel hereby authorizes the following officers and employees of the town to attend the Association of Towns Conference in New York, New York, and that the reasonable and necessary expenses of said persons be reimbursed by the town upon audit and approval by the town controller to the extent reserved in the 2023 conference and seminars line of the court budget. Uh, Thomas Jacobellis, Town Justice. Daniel Miller, Town Justice. Patricia Jenna, Town Court Clerk. Francine Schmansky, Senior Account Clerk. 
Marie Paprocki, Clerk to Town Justices, uh, Lisa Lacadera, Clerk to Town Justice, Marianne Maxwell, Tom, Town Comptroller, and Ann Pascarello, Chief of Staff. Be it further resolved that the entire town board of the town of Carmel is also authorized to attend the Association of Towns Conference in New York, New York, and that their reasonable and necessary expenses be reimbursed by the town upon audit and approval by the Comptroller's Office. I offer this as read. Seconded. Seconded by Baranowski. All <clears throat> those in favor? Aye. 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 23 passed. 24 is a resolution designated Town of Carmel Delegate to the 2023 Association of Towns Annual Business Session. Councilman McDonough, sure. Councilwoman McDonough? Yep, resolved the Town Supervisor Michael Cazari is hereby designated as the voting delegate and Councilman Robert Chanel is hereby designated as the alternate voting delegate of the Town of Carmel to the 2023 Annual Business Session of the Association of Towns of the State of New York to be held in New York City from February 19th through the 22nd, 2023, and, he, and are hereby authorized to cast the vote of the Town of Carmel pursuant to Section 6 of Article 3 of the Constitution and Bylaws of said association. I offer this resolution as read. Seconded. Seconded by Baranowski. All those in favor? Aye. 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 24 passed. Resolution 25. It is a resolution adopting Town of Carmel 2023 subject matter list and office retention schedule. Councilman Baranowski, could you read that? Resolve that upon the recommendation of Ann Spock, the town board of the town board of the town of Carmel hereby adopts the town of Carmel 2023 subject matter list and record retention schedule as pre-filed with the town clerk. I offer this resolution as well. Second. Seconded by Councilwoman McDonough. All those in favor? Aye. 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 25 passed. Number 26 is a resolution establishing, establish, establishing <coughs> seasonal and temporary and part-time workers' wage rates. Councilman Lombardi, could you read that? Resolve the Town Board of Town of Carmel hereby sets the seasonal, temporary, part-time workers' maximum <coughs> wage rates for the following titles effective January 1, 2023. And these are seasonal, temporary, and part-time workers, position or title, seasonal temporary and cumulative wage rate based on cumulative hours of service from zero to 500, 14, 20 an hour, from 501 to 1,000, 15, 20 an hour, 1,001 to 1,500, 16, 20, and from 1,501 onward, 17, 20 per hour. I hope this resolution is right. Second. Seconded by uh, Shadow and Baranowski. Do we have to do a roll call on that? Can we get... Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> 26 passed. 27, the resolution setting rates for 2023 part-time temporary help. Oh. You can offer it as a pre with the town clerk. That's what I figured. Resolution setting rates for 2023 part-time and temporary help. Resolved that the town board of the town of Carmel hereby sets the following rates as for part-time slash temporary help in the following departments for fiscal year 2023, I'll offer this resolution as is um, filed, pre-filed with the town clerk's office. Second. And, all those in favor? Aye. 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 27, passed. Uh, 28 is resolution <coughs> making appointment to the Recreation and Parks Advisory Committee. Resolve that the town board of the town of Carmel hereby reappoints Dave Fafaro to the Town of Carmel Recreation and Parks Advisory Committee for a term commencing January 2023 and expiring December 31st, 2025. I offer this resolution as read. Second. Seconded by McDonough and Baranowski. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, 29 is a resolution making appointment to the Recreation and Parks Advisory Committee. Uh, Councilwoman McDonough, could you? Sure. Resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Carmel hereby reappoints Joyce Pacone to the Town of Carmel Recreation and Parks Advisory Committee for a term commencing January 1st, 2023 and expiring December 31st, 2025. I offer this resolution as read. Seconded. Second by Baranowski. All those in favor? Aye. 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 So before I ask for a motion to uh, Adjourn to executive session. Um, we have two things 
to announce. So on Saturday the 14th, that is the day that uh, AAA will be picking up our Christmas trees. Okay, Saturday, January 14th, have your Christmas tree out there. Um, do not place it in a plastic bag or totes. All trees must be free of lights, tinsel, and ornaments. If you have any questions regarding that, you can call AAA. Uh, carding and rubbish removal at 628-5000. Uh, the numbers are on the uh, trash cans. Alternate That's town-wide, right? Yes, and Oak Ridge. We don't have Oak Ridge, right? Yeah, for the uh, multi multi-family for the condos. Yeah. That's really right. Yeah. So, uh, Christmas tree for those uh, serviced by Oak Ridge Waste, which I don't think we did. Rich, do we have Oak Ridge? We do. I don't know the date. Off the top of my I have the date. I just we do. All right. So, so Christmas tree collections will be Wednesday, January 11th, um, for those who have Oak Ridge Waste. Uh, place your Christmas tree at your curb, and the collection will may be made by a separate truck. Do not, again, put it in a plastic bag or a tote, uh, and they must be free of lights, tinsel, and ornaments. So it's the 14th, Saturday the 14th, for those of us that have AAA, and the Wednesday, January 11th, for people who have Oak Ridge Waste. Uh, and I just want to reiterate the receiver of taxes notice. Um, she's saying that the tax bills did go out Last Thursday, the 29th, uh, they are due without penalty by January 31st. If you did not receive one, you can get a copy at the tax receiver's office, or you can go online. You can also pay your bill, your tax bill online, and that's the town and county tax. Um, and she does put in there that uh, real property law, section 922, uh, states that the property owner is responsible. Uh, you can't say you didn't get your bill, and that's why you didn't pay it. Um, you still will accrue penalties for that. Um, town board comments, anybody? No. Nope. No. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, can we get a motion to uh, go to go to executive session for um, an update on our uh, land acquisition and litigation update? All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Can we get a second? Second. What? No, second. Let me down. Close enough. All right. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you.